the JAMA Network. Hercules is enjoying his new home. After 10 years homeless, it, uh, I felt like uh, I was born again. After losing his business and then his mother, he became depressed. Hercules participated in the Housing First program, where homeless adults move directly from the street or shelters into permanent housing while working closely with a support team. Individuals with moderate mental health needs represents a very uh, large uh, segment of the homeless population across North America. Doctors Vicki Stergiopoulos and Stephen Wang from St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto and co-authors recruited about 1,200 homeless individuals from four large cities across Canada. A little more than half the participants received rent supplements and intensive mental health support from project teams. The remaining participants did not receive rent supplements and were instead directed to services available in their community. Both groups were followed for up to two years. Individuals in the intervention group uh, had uh, much greater success in achieving stable housing compared to the uh, usual care group. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. While the intervention is very successful, their overall quality of life did not improve significantly as a result of the intervention. The Housing First model has been used for homeless individuals experiencing severe mental illness who required intensive and costly support services. We can now broaden this model to include people who have more moderate needs for services and can do so at a lower cost than the more intensive version of the intervention. Hercules has taken computer courses, meets regularly with his support advocate, and even rescued his cat Leo. He also helps those who are still homeless, encouraging them to stay positive. Just keep your chin up and see the green light. They're going to come some point. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.